Okay guys, so this is the um, the module amplifier for the Bose Lifestyle 28. Um, basically, to take this off the, the, the base module, the, the subwoofer, it's all screws. Pretty simple. We just take the back cover off. The back cover is held on by four screws, two up here and two at the bottom right here. So we just take those two screws out, four screws out. You go around and take out one, two, three, four, five, six, six, seven, eight screws all around the edges, and this will come right off. Once you unplug, of course, the um, the wire that goes to the the uh, the woofer is in the in the in the box, and you take this off. And then on the back of it is uh, machine screws, and there's quite a bit of them. Um, once you take those out. You pry open the cover, and that's it. Um, I already took all the uh, the stuff out to, to see what's going on. So this is my problem right here. So I got one, uh, one, two. There's two boards and a transformer, which is pretty small compared to the, um, the Lifestyle 12. So this is the transformer for the the uh, Bose Lifestyle 28, and then of course this is, this is the chi other chip right here, other a uh, logic board, and this is the one that we're, we're gonna we're gonna fix. And uh, once I took it out the um, the uh, the heat sink, it took me a while, but I actually found the the problem with this. The reason why I'm taking this apart right now is um, it's because my left channel is uh, left front left channel isn't working. I went and find the channel that wasn't working and guess what? There's cold solder on this side and that side and if you follow the um, the matrix here I think that's what they're, what they're called and you actually see these two actually connects and for some reason both sides are cracked so I'm guessing at some point it overheated and melted away or it was just a bad solder from the beginning so but I don't know I'm going to try to resolder that put it back together and see if it works um, if that's the case then um, I saved me 250 uh, Bose I, I got a quote from Bose uh, they want to charge me 250 for me to send this to them um, and for them to repair and that's not including shipping and tax so if I get these two points soldered and it worked and yay me okay so my um, soldering is, is ready to go uh, after about 10 minutes of waiting um, so I already started at this point I'm going inside the other end of the uh, left channel so it's going to be a little tricky because it's pretty small That's it. Let me see if there's any other weak ones that might break in the future. Like I see this one. This one. You can see some cold solders right here. Double check the other board. There's this board. I don't think this one. All right, it's no issue with this one. All right, now it's time just to put everything back together and see how it works. Okay, so I went came to it. I went to a um I had a dilemma. There's this pink, like I guess. Uh, sort of like rubbery um, sticker. I think this is to avoid certain circuits to uh, come in contact with the uh, aluminum uh, uh, heat sink. So that pink strip actually goes underneath 
the uh, these chips right here, preventing preventing the the uh, the metal uh, from contacting the um, uh, the heat sink. So if you if your your pink strip actually came off or went off, just remember that the the strip is designed to prevent the contact from of the heat sink and these uh, these chips right here. Okay. All right. So. These boards, they have, um, or these whole entire heat sink have uh, actually slots. So just pay attention when you put these uh, boards back in. Um, they're pretty tight, so make sure you put them in the grooves. You can tell which direction to put these, put the uh, the board in by um, by the plugs. These are the plugs that you see from the outside of the uh, the uh, the subwoofer. So just just basically just go by that. And you should be good. It's a lot of screws, man. It's a lot of screws. And that's it. Alright, so I managed to put the module back. Uh, everything's encased. Um, um, everything's wired up. Ready to go. Uh, so like I said before, this speaker wasn't working. The center was working. Uh, yeah. So front, uh, right was working. And then the rear is in the back. So, the whole thing was just for this channel. To work so let's find something that can play for real quick to see um, if there's audio in all five channels without YouTube taking the video off let's find something instrumental uh, let's do this I have Chromecast by the way so Bose Lifestyle 28 meet 2016 so it's all Wi-Fi now all right let's turn the volume up a little bit all right, get the five channels, five surround sound. Do I have audio here? I think I do, hold on. Let me hop up there real quick. I think I do. Can you hear that? This is center. I do hear that. This one I can clearly hear. In the back too, I know for sure works. So by soldering those two uh, solder points on the board, worked. So let me uh, turn this off. Let me mute it real quick. So yeah, so soldering those two points where. I guess it just disconnected work so this this works for I guess well not guess but I know if you have a broken channel in your Bose system uh, just take it out and see if 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 you're lucky and you only need to basically uh, resolder those uh, those channels and go ahead and do that because that's the fix for me so um, yeah that's I saved myself 250 by fixing it at home and not going through the hassle of sending it, boxing it to Bose, 
and pay for shipping and taxes. So roughly, you know, maybe two eighty, almost three hundred dollars for just soldering two points on um on the board on the sound card. Um, so that's that's that. Uh, I am pretty happy.